For today, we're playing MGS Delta and with the RG Ally. And we're playing at 1080p at the low settings with medium shadows. For the performance, even worse, we're setting at 20 to 30 FPS. And FSI is active. That's the crazy bit. We are using FSI at performance and it can easily fall down to 20 FPS. Fast forwarding into this section here in the caves. And we are setting at 40 FPS, but... The scene after this is when you see the FPS tank like crazy. Also, I will be testing out SteamOS as well. Like this right here is Windows 11, but once we're done, I will test out SteamOS. Hopefully it is far more stable, because this is just awful. I mean, the graphics here just look <laughs> atrocious, man. If the camera moves, the entire image just gets ruined. Look how bad that looks. And the load times are like honestly pretty long as well. It freezes for like 5 seconds to 10 seconds, and then eventually it comes back in. So there we go, and 100p, and we're getting 30 FPS here. And again, the graphics are... <laughs> it's worse than before, obviously. Same issues, but lower resolution. Is the game playable? Yeah, I would say it's playable, but again, I would... Like, personally for me, I would pick the PS2 port through PCSX2 instead of playing this. Or I guess you can get the Master Collection as well. That's also an option. Yeah, paying full price for this game is just not it. Like even on an actual PC, if you can't get a stable 30 going at at least the high settings, at above 1080p, it isn't really worth buying at the current price. It's just far too intensive. And the game doesn't look that good if you're running at a low resolution with DLSS or any upscaling. 720p looks awful, by the way. <laughs> it's just straight up really bad but again it is all personal preference so if you like how it looks or it's fine for you then yeah go ahead and buy it nice easy headshot i'm doing a playthrough on the normal difficulty i'm going full stealth not getting seen no kills and uh yeah no shooting as well if i can i think i've shot the gun one time so far everything else has been hand to hand I'm now at the uh, the first encounter with the end. It's pretty fun to be fair, but the price tag, how it runs, for the average person, it isn't really worth it. Actually, I lied. I have shot the gun, but for the boss fights. You can't really hand-to-hand -hand them. So yeah, during the actual missions, haven't used the gun, except one time for one shot, but for the two boss fights that I've done, I have shot the gun. So yeah, here we are in the cave, sitting at near 60 FPS, but look how small the sections are. Like, they are so small. Every bit has a loading screen, and it's running this badly. It's kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Look how bad the graphics look. Just straight up looks awful. So yeah, there we have it. That is Windows 11. It does play, I guess. You can get 30 FPS, but for me, it isn't really it. Looks too bad. And the entire point of the remake is to have the upgraded graphics. Let's back out, try SteamOS, and see if we do any better over there. Same settings. At 1080p, using SteamOS now, and we're sitting at 30 to 40 FPS here. Wow. Doing a bit better, it seems like. The graphics are still as bad as before, so nothing has changed there. The game looks awful. But let's see if the uh, FPS falls down to 20, like it did in Windows 11. Let's keep going forward. Should fall down right in this scene here. Once we go up and see the swamp. It does fall down, but it does way better. We're sitting at 26 slash 25 instead of 20. And down here, it's 27 to 29. Honestly, pretty good. And on the controller, it is playable. I won't lie about that. It is definitely playable. And 900p. Here we're sitting at 35 to 37. Is he done? Just in case. There we go. Yeah, 35 to 37. It feels really good. I can't feel any stutters. And in the cave, we're sitting at 50 to 60 FPS. It's pretty insane compared to Windows 11 because we had around this many frames at 720p. And back here again with the awful graphics. And once again, we're sitting at 30 FPS. All right, here we are. Finally sitting at 60 FPS at 720p. Seems to be a locked 60 in the caves. Let's see if it falls down once we go up here though, and yeah, it does fall down to the low 50s. In here, it looks pretty decent to be honest, it isn't that bad, 
But yeah, the water, the trees, the bushes, they look awful when you're in motion. So yeah, that's it guys. That is MGS Delta and on the ROG Ally. The game is definitely playable. It does run at mostly 30 on the system, on SteamOS and Windows 11, but it looks really bad. Like even at 1080p, which is around 20 to 30 FPS on Windows 11 and 25 to 30 on SteamOS, the game does not look good. You can disable FSR if you want to, but in some scenes, it doesn't matter. I've tried it and honestly, it's just, it's just not good, even on a small screen. So for most of you, this one's definitely a skip, but if you're a massive fan of MGS3 and you like how this game looks and how it runs, and all you have is the ROG Ally, then yeah, go ahead and buy it and enjoy your time with it. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. See you guys then.